Come get some. I'd find you and your friends all the way over here, did ya? Yeah, I knew you would eventually come all the way here, you and your whole entire gay river and poop. Oh gee, what am I gonna do now? I'll see what we got here. It looks like we got ourselves a mean girl, a socialite, a gay 70s disco dancer, a rocket queen, Tim the Toolman Taylor, a father and son motorcycle fixin' team, a vampire hunter from the late Trinity film, the princess of pop, one of the four outlaws, James Bond himself, a movie critic who likes to give thumbs up the ass, a new jack hustler, a male porn star, a six foot plus actress from those Ghostbuster films, a major YouTube star, and... And... Hey. Something just doesn't seem logically right about the cast. Well, what, Spock? I know now. I'll bet you're not even part of the original cast still living. Heck, you've been dead for so many years for Christ's sakes. Someone must have performed necromancy on your corpse to bring you back to life. God damn it, you fucking bloody ass wanker, you are always right. He's always right. You can see, Leonard Nimoy here used to be part of the A crew. Leonard, is this true? I'm afraid it is true. I used to be part of the A crew, a red carpet walking group of upper class socialites that later became a group of elite mercenaries for hire. You see, Nancy, your friend Leonard Nimoy was once even one of us. Heck, he even used to hang around with Willie Nelson and used to even frequent the same clubs as John Travolta. Then one day Leonard Nimoy defected. He defected because he's a washed up has been. Too bad Leonard Nimoy is now obsolete. <laughs> Two thumbs up the ass. Why is it that all bad guys have to sound the same when they are laughing? I wish I knew. Maybe it's one of life's mysteries, maybe not. Oops. I did it again. Zoinks. Wrong. I did it again, Dick. Hey, you stole my stash. Yours ain't the only one I stole, Princess. Hey there. Hey. Hey, where's my precious little Tinkerbell? Hey, Paris Hilton, I got your precious little Tinkerbell right here. Give me back my Tinkerbell, no. Make me. Give me back my Tinkerbell, no. Here's Bog, catch. Awesome. You get to play catch the poochie. Hey Nancy McKim, let's play catch the dog. Awesome. I always like tossing the dog. Hey Nancy and Spock, check me out. I'm going to the other side of this courtyard. You don't want to do that. The dark horse will just get to you. Oh yeah. And what is he gonna do? Make me take off my butt ugly mask and helmet and make me still have a retarded robot voice like the rest of you? This shit is so digital fear and RB and the chief. Haha, <laughs> that's where you're wrong. And by the way, the whole joke's on you. That's right, on you. In your motherfucking uncle fucker of a butt plugging uncle fucking face. The Dark Force doesn't even exist. The Dark Force was just something me and Leonard Nimoy made up to scare off unwanted wankers like yourself. Damn. 
Okay, so the whole thing with the Dark Horse was just a bunch of really silly conspiracies that we made up to scare off any outsiders who would end up disturbing the Great Wizard and the Great Wizard's works. So you're telling me this whole Dark Horse person is just a bunch of silly make-believe and that I could have just come here any time that I wanted to? Huh. Hey, BK King. I'm willing to call off this whole entire fight. Heck, I'm even willing to forgive you for all the bad shit you have done. I'm even willing to forgive you for stinking up my lawn. You really would forgive me, even after I kick your ass and fart on your lawn? You do realize that I can kick your ass real easily? You don't want to piss off Nancy McKeon. She has received many long hours of special training from the Great Wizard. Really? Yes, really. And now you got me really fucking mad, and I highly suggest that you get your gay monkey fuck of yourself and that gay fucking gay club and Mickey Mouse club on track of a team and get the fuck out of here or you'll be finding your entrails scattered all over this land. Fine. Have it your way, Nancy McKeon. Here we go. Did we bloody miss anything? Nope. Not yet, you two bloody wanker coots. Now we finally got ourselves our own team. And with the combined might of Nancy and I and Ozzy and Garth here, we will overtake out your whole sissified excuse of a team. Maybe you guys haven't seen the true powers I alone possess. Check this one unique power out and lo and behold. Nobody fucks with me. No, you will not take me on, Nancy McKeon. Go ahead. You do know you just blew up our only entrance to this island world. Great. Just fucking great. If I were human, I'd say the BK King was an uber asshole. But only if I were human. What the fuck am I saying? The BK King is an uber asshole. Does that mean that we're stuck on this strange world for life? I hope not. No. That bloody place you just blew up contained our only bloody supply line of 18 year old Japanese hookers and alley cats to chase and beer. Beer. Ooh, no. Ooh, yeah. Oh my dog. What the fuck is going on? It's fucking raining Japanese hookers, cats, and beer. Garth Brooks, you're starting to sound like a broken record for 33 seconds there. I sometimes wonder about you. Hey Nancy McKim, how would you like to have a taste of my big one? It's nice, long, hard and firm. <laughs> Is that all you got wrong, Jeremy? <laughs> well, it can still do the job regardless. Hey Nancy McKim, how would you like to see your friend Spock deep throat my long sword? Remember me. It's turbo time. Who dead? Relax, this is me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I am Harrison Ford, otherwise known as Indiana Jones, the one who survived the nuke. Remember me. I saved your ass, Nancy, and your friend Fox, too. So that explains why you're here about to help us. I promise I won't get in the way. I just wanna take on the evil BK King myself. One of us is in. Deep trouble. Fuck no. You son of a bitch. Shut the fuck up. You both talk too much. Yeah, I hope you live in a moon pie and piss because I'm going to have it in you. Hey, Haroldo. Yeah, John, what is it? Why are you sniffing my buttocks? I don't know. Ain't this a nice day, though? <laughs> Oof. Uh, wait, 
I survived. No. Um, I didn't see a thing. Oof. Oh, damn. No, Indian Arnold are both dead. Well, Spock, Indiana Bones was a bump after all. No, Arnold, I'm not sure about. God damn it. I need to transform. Transforming? No. Man, that was so awesome. I am so ready to kick some ass. No, there's something I've been meaning to do all along. What can be hold? Yay, Nancy. No, that's my girl. Claire, I'd recommend you go and hide somewhere safe. Things could get very ugly here in a moment. Haha, ha, what a dyke. Go is such a dyke. Haha. Ha. Just say that to my face. We don't need Indy and we don't need Arnold. I alone can take each of you down. And with the five of us here, including two of me, Garth Maul, Ozzy Osbourne, and Spock, well, y'all know what will happen. Hey boo, you all know what to do. Get him. Guys, it's time to re-strategize. There's just too many of them. I'll take out Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, Ferris Hilton and Sigourney Weaver. Leonard, you take on John Ramos and Freddie Mercury and anyone else who gets in your way. Darth Maul, you know what to do. And my co-character will take on Tim Allen, both the two tells, and anyone else. Nancy, I am here. Why, you come, Mr. You. Yes, it's me. The bad thing is that I cannot fight for the life of me. I am too chicken. I came to see if everything was okay since I heard too much noises. Why, you could be of good service to us. Go protect my dear friend Claire. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. It just wouldn't look good. Yes, sire, Nancy. Okay, guys, let's do this. Hi, hi, Nancy. Lisa Wilkel, I am here to protect you. Oh, great, a pedal bear. Get him real good, guys. Hey, Nancy McKim, catch me if you can. Damn it, it's the mean girl Lindsay Lohan. I'll get you, Leah. No, you can't, Nancy. Try me. Nancy McKim, teach Lindsay Lohan a thing or two what you really made of. Yay, go! Teach those bastards what you're really made of! Oops, my bad. Y'all know what? Yeah? Life is like a box of chocolate candies. You're neither know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Right. You'll never take me down, Nancy McKim. No one will. That's where you're on, Lindsay Lohan. Go ahead, kill me. You know you all want to anyways. It'd be my fucking pleasure. <coughs> bye bye, Leo, you motherfucking dick. Man, that made me feel so good. <laughs> good? Good? You killed my best friend, Lindsay Lohan. So? I had to do what I had to do for the better of all mankind by ridding the world of Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> that is it, Nancy. And now I shall kill you as instructed just because you're Nancy McKim. You couldn't even kill a fly. 
and no offense, Paris Hilton, but your outfit is way out of style and makes you look like a key footer out of a terrible drug induced set before the film. You're mine, Roger Ebert. It looks like you stepped on cursed ground. Oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? Hey, Ebert. Catch this. You take the bag, you take the smoke, and then... No. Translucent acid white letters, eating me alive. Oh, what a world. What a cool world. No. Would you like a taste of my nice, sensual, lustrous hard one? It is nice and sharp. Shut the fuck up, you annoying little troll! Way to go, Blair. I didn't even know you had a new. Let's see what I can do next. I wonder what the real I'll go in next. Ha 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 ha, somebody is getting found by someone and it isn't me. Because I'm Nancy McKeon and I'm the best there ever is. And I'm just too damn awesome. Yeah. You think you're too awesome? You think you're the only one who can be two different things? You think you're the only one who can change? I'll show you change. Let's go. Right on, Baldy. Get her good, Nancy. Get her real good. Man, the fight between Nancy McKeon and the Princess of Pop is so damn awesome that we're now suspended in bullet time mode. You're bloody telling me. <laughs> Leave Britney Spears alone right now! Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, you fruit? <laughs> Ooh, that's right. Just buy me river tears. I'll put you over there. Leave Britney Spears alone right now! I mean it! Yeah, just make me. Kiss my ass, and while you're at it, eat my use or no. No thanks. EAT MY CORNHOLE HOLE! EAT! No thanks. <laughs> Motherfucking phone. Man, am I so fucking awesome. No other female could even come close to beating me, cause I am so damn epic. And I am Nancy McKim. <laughs> Epic. Epic. I killed goddamn vampires and conquered Lord Timberlake. And I will kill you and your friends. Come on and taste your fate. Is that a crossbow that I see? Everyone knows Oblivion don't have crossbows. Hehehehe. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and taste your doom, you green eyed vampire. Vampire. <laughs> you must have been taking way too much moon sugar or skooma. Watch the bloody hell out. What the fuck? What the fuck is good. going on? You're bloody telling me. What the I fuck wonder is what this faking on? could mean. We may soon find out. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the motherfuck is going on? What the motherfuck is going on? What the fuck? What the fuck?
Well, 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 look who's shown up. Look who we got here. I have been waiting for this very moment, Laddie. Show me what you've got. Give it your all. Yeah. I wonder what's going on in the palace grounds. I'll soon find out. Bye.